We all know how the World Volleyball Championships uh, in Poland turned out, but what you don't know is uh, what the World Championships uh, looked like uh, behind the scene. You don't know how each team uh, prepared in a warm-up for match, uh, what some of the volleyball stars uh, did and did not do. In Poland, volleyball is one of the most popular sports and it uh, shows in everything they do. The final tournament uh, takes place in a speckled hall with uh, 12,000 spectators uh, creating a fantastic atmosphere for the home and away teams. Uh, before the match uh, or in between the sets, uh, you can test yourself how high you can jump, uh, buy a jersey, take a photo with the Polish stars or even take a selfie with the original World Championships trophy. The biggest show and experience for the spectators came during the national attempts. When the whole hall lit up the national colors of the final tournament participants. To hear 12,000 people singing the Polish national anthem makes you think, I would like to play in this atmosphere too. In addition, there are more than 100 journalists, photographers and reporters running or sitting in the hall who are also well taken care of in the media zone. But let's move on uh, to the differences in the team's uh, warm-ups and preparation for the games. Of course, the timing of warm-ups and uh, what teams uh, can do is governed by FIV protocol. Teams cannot do whatever they want, uh, whenever they want. However, I was uh, surprised at how different the team's approaches to the pre-match warm-ups are. I'll start with the Brazil. Brazil's players uh, played a short game of uh, soccer before the warm-up uh, and then they moved behind the court to the ground. Everyone does their exercises, most of which are static exercises. After a few minutes, uh, the athletic coach uh, comes in and takes over the warm-up. Player starts with uh, light dynamic movements uh, and uh, running from the end line to the net. It was interesting that uh, Lucas was uh, doing these exercises, but he wasn't doing them with the team. This was followed by several exercises to stabilize and activate the leg muscles before jumping, which were complemented by several dynamic runs and runs with changes of directions. For the next few minutes, the players moved to the net and began jumping to the block. Each player jumped on the block separately, with each player doing a few jumps at their positions. And again, for example, Lille did not jump on the block at all. I also didn't see the players try to make a team block. They didn't jump once on a double block. Warm up in pairs uh, with the ball along the net followed. It's worth noting uh, that the players were throwing the balls mostly one handed and making long attacks across the court to their teammates. During the warm up, both Brazilian setters were at the net uh, in zone 2, and Fernando, who was uh, starting the match uh, for third place, made a few more sets uh, to zone 4 before warm up at the net. Usually at the attack warm up, the setter who starts the game is in the middle of the net and sets to zone 4. But that's not how the Brazilians do it. Bruno Rezende made these sets uh, even though he did not enter the game in the starting lineup. You can see some great attacks uh, to the third meter from the Brazilians uh, when they are attacking before the game. But not only those. Again, for example, Lille was hitting uh, the vast majority of his spikes in the back half of the court. And the Liberos warm up uh, in the form of passing and defending uh, were handled by coach at this time. Then there was uh, a classic warm up for serving uh, before match uh, when all players serve and only the Liberos were receiving. No outside hitter from the starting lineup passed at this time, only or serve. And then the game was on, the light volleyball show and the great game. Slovenia's warm up was similar. The difference was that the players were not lined up uh, along the net during the warm up, but uh, from the toss uh, they stood across to the net. As in the case of the Brazilians, uh, there was no outside hitter passing during the serve. Only the liberal stood on the serve. Everyone else was dedicated to the serve itself. And in my opinion, the Polish teams uh, had the most interesting and the best volleyball warm-up I have ever seen. You can see an uncut version of this warm-up uh, in this video.